Hello everyone, it's Mr. Cinema Junkie here with my review of a movie I just had the pleasure of watching the other night. Thirst. This is a Korean movie, and it is a Korean vampire movie to be more specific. But it's not your typical run-of-the-mill vampire story. In it, a priest is given a blood transfusion, which inadvertently kills him but then brings him back to life as a vampire. Apparently the blood was vampiric in state, but nevertheless he comes back as a vampire. But not your basic fangs and mist and turning into different creatures kind of vampire. He just thirsts for blood. He needs blood to rejuvenate his body because otherwise it starts to deteriorate, blisters break out, and uh, he's at a conflict because he is a priest. So therefore, he can't kill anyone, but he needs blood to survive. Um, he does get some of the attributes of a vampire as far as, you know, very, uh, very profound superhuman strength, uh, the ability to jump and all that other good stuff that vampires have. And, of course, sunlight is not his friend. He uh, he's becomes kind of a miracle worker because people he prays for somehow are getting cured, but he believes it's a psychological effect that he has on them. Um, when he's asked to pray for a certain person who, who has cancer, he finds out that he knew this guy in, in, as a child, and uh, he the guy that he knew wound up marrying this girl that they took in, that they had adopted, uh, that him and his mother had adopted. So the priest gets reunited with these family friends and uh, begins to develop an affection for this girl that his friend is married to. Uh, she hates the life that she has there. She's looking for a way out. She's miserable. She feels like she's been treated like the family pet rather than a family member. Um, in turn, she lets loose her desire on the priest. The priest is at a conflict right now because of the vampirism, so he gives in to his lust and uh, finally decides that he's, he's given up his faith. And he finds ways to get blood without killing anyone. He works at a hospital, uh, so he, he does work at a hospital. So there's one guy who's in a coma that he's constantly taking his IV out and sucking the blood from him and then letting it re regenerate. So he doesn't kill the guy. When he reveals his disease to the girl, she freaks out at first, but then she realizes that maybe this is the life she's looking for. Maybe this is her way out and asks that she be turned into a vampire as well. Um, he really doesn't want to do that. But they continue their relationship and their their extramarital deal. And she convinces him to kill her husband for her, saying that her husband is abusing her. Uh, one thing leads to another, and he inadvertently loses his grip and decides to kill her, too. Uh, he breaks her neck. Then he turns her back, brings her back to life, and turns her into a vampire. With this newfound power that she has, she decides it's time for everybody in the world to pay for all the, the injustice she has been dealt throughout her life. She's not a very nice person. Uh, once she has the ability to kill and, and the license she feels to take what she wants, she, she doesn't go about it half-assed. She really goes at it big time, uh, stabbing people in the neck with scissors, draining them dry, whereas the priest tells her, that it's not necessary to do that. There's ways to get blood without having to kill anyone. And she's like, well, what fun is that? So she's really hell-bent on just killing and hurting and, and looking out for number one, which is her at this point. Um, it all culminates into a very, I think, a very satisfying end. <clears throat> I, uh, I, was very, I was really happy with the way it ended. It was a little comical at times, but that was good. It was a good, good thing. Uh, the the little, I guess the frustrating comic relief of it all was just pretty amazing. Um, I love the cinematography from it. I like the I love the shot where he grabs her in his arms because she asked if he can jump, 
from off the top of a building and survive. And she asks him, is it too high for you? And he grabs her and he jumps with her and the camera follows them. It's fixed on her face and follows from roof to roof, which was really a great scene. Um, if you like vampire movies, this is definitely one to check out. There's no glitter or sparkles in this one, but it definitely has a, ro a romance in it. Maybe a little twisted, maybe a little dark, but it's a vampire movie. What do you want? It's from the from the director of Old Boy, if anyone's familiar with that one, Mr. Park. Uh, if you're familiar with Old Boy, then you know that the, the storylines are pretty solid. And uh, this one doesn't doesn't stray from that. Um, I'd like to take this time to thank a very awesome YouTuber who sent me this movie. It goes by the name MonkeyTube. I'll put his link below. Definitely check him out. I've I've mentioned him before saying that if if you're into Asian horror movies or Asian movies in general, that he's the guy to go to. Um, and he has not proven me wrong yet. So uh, this was an excellent movie. Thank you, man. Really appreciate it. Um, just, a, just a really cool movie overall. I mean, I can't say much more than that other than, you know, the vampire genre needed a little kick in the ass, and this was basically the kick in the ass it needed. It, it was really excellent. An awesome movie. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Just a quick review, just to kind of sum it up. Um, definitely check it out. And uh, tell me what you think. And if you've seen it already, please drop a comment below. Let me know what you think of it. Till next time, I will be talking to you soon. Uh, enjoy yourselves. Be cool. Be nice to each other. Please.